Hello everyone. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to add an IRETN with a connected IRDM16P IO module to your current Compact Logix project within Logix Designer. To begin, we'll need to make sure that we have Wintech's Easy Remote IO application installed and that our PC, IRETN, and Compact Logix are on the same network. During this demonstration, I've configured my PC's IP to 192.168.1.100 and my Compact Logix IP to 192.168.1.180. The default IP of the IRETN is 192.168.0.212. And so we'll need to use the Easy Remote I.O. application to reconfigure this to the 192.168.1 subnet. To do this, I'll select the Online tab and click Automatic Scan. And within the following menu, I'll select the Scan button. Once the application has finished searching, the IRETN will be displayed. To change the IP, we'll select the Modify button on the right side. And I'll leave the unique identifier to 212. After which, I'll click Apply and we'll receive a prompt that our IP change was successful, and so I'll close our scan menu. Now in order to add this device to our project, we'll need to generate an EDS file. To create this file, I'll select the File button, and select Export Ethernet IP EDS. When prompted, I'll define the location that my EDS will export to, and then click OK to save my EDS file. Before I leave this application, let's select the Start Monitoring button on the top right, and click the IRDM16P within our project window to monitor our I.O. points. With our ETN's IP configured and our EDS file accessible, let's open Logix Designer and run the Hardware Installation Tool. This tool can be found within the Tool tab, where we'll select EDS Hardware Installation Tool. In the following pop-up, let's select Next on the bottom right to continue. We'll then need to ensure that Register an EDS file is selected. Next, we'll select Register a single file, and on the right side, we'll use the Browse button to search for our EDS file. Once the file has been found, select Open on the bottom right, and then click Next to proceed with installation. After installing this file, we'll select the Finish button and then add our ETN by right-clicking on the Ethernet adapter and selecting New Module within the Control Organizer chart. Within our Module Type menu, I'll type ETN into our filter and select the IRETN from our list and click Create. In the following dialog, I'll assign our ETN a name and configure its IP. And then click OK and close our module type menu. Now I'll design a simple program in which we'll trigger an output on our IRDM16P. Alright, 
So I've created a very simple program and I've assigned our coil a tag from the first member of the output sent array of our IRETN's connected I.O. module. With that finished, I'll go online with our PLC and monitor output zero on our IRDM16P using the Easy Remote I.O. application. And we can see that the online value of our IRDM16P's first output is 1, meaning that this bit is now on. And now let's turn it off within our program. And this is reflected within the output value shown within the Easy Remote I.O. application. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.